What's up everybody, this is Dallas Doan here. Today in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to copy uh, transforms from one object to another. And this is really important. I mean, in, if you're coming from Maya, it's really simple. You typically just select the object, you just uh, select all of these values and just control C and you can just paste that right into, uh, into your new object. Uh, in Blender, things don't, quite work that way um, again uh, just another usability thing but once you kind of understand how to do it it's actually pretty simple as well so for uh, so for example this is my low poly version of this screw head that I have right here that I've put onto my MPX uh, some of you who might have been following along I have been working on this MPX this is kind of where it's at right now this is the high poly uh, and it's not fully done yet I'm kind of, I'm now starting to work on the little tidbits and little small details of the model so I have my high poly bolt here, and now I want to put my low poly over top of it to get the baking of this detail onto the the bolt. So what you need to do is you need to select the object that you need to be moved, and then hold shift, and then click on the object where you want to take the transforms from. So I'm going to click on this bolt here, and you're going to notice that these are the, the location transforms. All you have to do now is just right click and just go to copy all to selected. And now you're going to see that it has now moved exactly to here. And again, you need to make sure that everything's all zeroed, right? Like your all your bolts and stuff don't have weird um, starting origins and transforms. They should all start in the same spot, which is usually zero to zero. And let's say now I want to copy the rotations, same thing, just copy all to selected. And then there's also a little bit of scaling here to kind of fit this little hole or insert. Copy all to selected, and there you have it. Now it's in the perfect location stacked on top of the high poly. And now you know for sure that it's in the same spot because again, they share the same pivot point and uh, origin uh, from the get-go. All right, hope this video helps. See you all again next time. Bye now.